and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's specialist subjects include an extremely curmudgeonly lawyer, the early years of what's probably the world's biggest sporting event, an English gentleman and his long-suffering valet, and the famous brothers who made powered flight a reality. The usual rules, of course, a couple of minutes on their specialist subject, two and a half minutes on general knowledge. And the clock really is the boss. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. Is Devin Healy. Your occupation? I am a teacher. And your chosen subject? The Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers. Wilbur and Orville Wright, credited with building and flying the world's first aeroplane in December 1903 near Kitty Hawk in North Carolina. Two minutes on them, starting now. What name did the Wright Brothers give to their first successful powered aircraft and to the improved versions over the next two years? The Flyer. Yep. In what city in Ohio did the brothers grow up and create a printing business, then a bicycle business, and finally started to build their kites and gliders? Dayton. Yep. The first fatality in a powered aircraft accident occurred when a Wright flyer piloted by Orville plunged to the ground in September 1908. Orville escaped alive but was seriously injured. His passenger died. Who was it? Thomas Selfridge. Yes. What's the name of the sand hills near Kitty Hawk on the windy outer banks of North Carolina where the brothers experimented with manned gliders before their first powered flight? Kildeville Hills. Yes, in 1904 and 5, reports in the journal Gleanings in Bee Culture formed the only accurate coverage of the brothers' progress. Who wrote the reports? Amos Bird. Amos Root. What was the name of the large cow pasture near Dayton where the brothers continued their experiments in powered flight in 1904? Huffman Prairie. Yep. The suitability of the brothers' aircraft for the American Army was tested at a series of trials at a military post near Washington, D.C. in 1908. Which military post? Fort Myer. Yes. Wilbur set sail to Europe for the first time in May 1907 on board what ship? Pass. Wilbur moved his headquarters from Le Mans in early 1909 and relocated to the Pont Long airfield in southwest France, near which city? Pau. Yes. What was the name of Wilbur and Orville's sister, who was originally a school teacher but later helped their careers in aviation? Catherine. Yep. Wilbur chose a horse racing course near Le Mans for the public demonstrations of his aircraft in August 1908. Which course? Pass. An American president presented the brothers with medals from the Aero Club of America at the White House in June 1909. Which president? Taft. Yep. Before his flight up the Hudson River in October 1909, Wilbur strapped something to the bottom of the aeroplane because he'd never flown over water before. What was it? A canoe. Yeah. Which aristocrat was the first pilot that Wilbur trained to fly during his stay in France? He flew a right plane across Paris and over the Eiffel Tower in October 1909. Pass. Orville and Wilbur started to finish had the same illness several years apart and Wilbur died of it at the age of 45 in 1912. What was the illness? Typhoid. It was indeed and you had uh, three passes. The aristocrat whom Wilbur trained was Count Charles de Lambert. The horse racing course near Le Mans was Onardière and Wilbur set sail to Europe on the Campania. Those three passes, Devon, you have 11 points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Sanjo Sen. Your occupation? Chemical engineer. And your chosen subject? The television series, Jeeves and Worcester. Two minutes on the television adaptations of P.G. Woodhouse's Jeeves and Worcester story starring Fry and Laurie, beginning now. Bertie Worcester has several domineering aunts who interfere in his life and frequently demand that he visit their respective homes, which is the home of his Aunt Dahlia. Pass. Bertie's full name is given by the magistrate Sir Watkin Bassett in the first episode when he finds him for stealing a policeman's helmet. What is Bertie's middle name? Wilberforce. Yes. In the episode The Mysterious Stranger, it's revealed that Bertie had dropped a blancmange on a bishop's head when he was at Oxford. Which bishop? Woolwich. Yep. Who composed the title music and the incidental music played throughout the series? 
Underly. Yep. In the con, Bertie's persuaded to cycle from the resort of Westcombe on Sea to a nearby town to visit a museum noted for its napped flint and arrowheads. Which town? Elmouth. Yep. What title does Roderick Spode, the leader of the Black Shorts, succeed to when he's elevated to the House of Lords? Earl of Sidcup. Yes. Who initially becomes Jeeves' new employer when he resigns his post because Worcester refuses to stop playing the trombone? Lord Chefnall. Yep. What gift does Gussie Fink Nottle give to Stephanie Bing in an attempt to recover his notebook? Uh, Newt. Yes. What's the name of Barmy Fungi Phipps' band of banjo players who play at his Aunt Hilda's silver wedding party? Derby Street Jazzamaniacs. Yes. When the opera singer Cora Bellinger performs at Beefy Bingham's Lads Club in the East End, she is the fifth person that night after Tuppy Glossop, Bertie and two others to sing which song? Sunny Boy. Yep. When Bertie's at Deverell Hall pretending to be Gussie Fink Nottle, Jeeves disguises himself as a Scotland Yard detective and arrests him for the possession of an implement that he claims is illegal. What is it? Golf club. Yep. What is the name of the car produced by Jay Washburn Stoker's company which Tuppy Glossop hopes to sell in England? Spritz Polkast. Yes. Lady Wicker Hammersley bans all gambling at her home, Twing Hall, after her husband loses the east wing of the house while he's playing what game? Pass. Who plays Bicky Bickersteth's father, Lord Chiswick, in the episode in which Bertie tries to help Bicky stay in Manhattan and still receive an allowance from his father? John Savidence. Yep. When Gussie Finknottle wants to woo Madeleine Bassett, Bertie suggests he should repeat some of her poetic lines back to her. What phrase had Madeleine used to describe the stars? God's daisy chain. God's daisy chain is correct. You had two passes. That um, game that cost the husband the east wing of the house was shove halfpenny. And um, the home of Aunt Dahlia, Brinkley Court. However, Sandra, you have 13 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. Chloe Stone. Your occupation? I'm a retired teacher. And your chosen subject? The Rumpole Books and Stories by John Mortimer. Mortimer Stories about the clever and cantankerous barrister Horace Rumpole in two minutes, starting now. What is the title of the first Rumpole short story in which the London barrister defends Jim Timpson on a charge of robbing two butchers of their week's takings? Um... I have pass. At which wine bar does Rumpole regularly drink large glasses of claret that he describes as Chateau Fleet Street or Chateau Thames Embankment? Pomeroy's. Yep. What does Rumpole say is nothing more than common assault with unfortunate consequences? Murder? Yes. The nickname of the 37th and 39th Lancers who wear sky blue plumes in their headgear is included in the title of one of the stories. Which one? The... Um, Bright Seraphim. Yep. Rumpole defends Dr Elizabeth Ireton, a member of a pro-euthanasia society who is accused of ending the life of an elderly patient. What is the society called? Lethe. Yes. What is the name of the private investigator, sometimes employed by Rumpole, who always seemed to have a heavy cold? Fig Newton. Yes. In Rumpole and the Honourable Member, what mark does Erskine Brown make on the banknotes in the petty cash to try to prove that the head clerk, Albert, is stealing from Chambers? Um, with a red pencil? No, the Red Cross. At which prison does Rumpole attend a performance of A Midsummer Night's Dream? Worsfield. Yes. What is the name of the ship on which Rumpole and Hilda take a Mediterranean cruise? Bodicea? Yep. Rumpole often reads and quotes from an anthology of English poetry edited by Sir Arthur Quiller Couch. Which anthology? Oxford Book of English Verse. Yep. Rumpole retires and moves to Florida. After a judge known for his dislike of defence barristers and Rumpole in particular defeats him in ten cases in a row. Which judge? Bullingham. Yep. In Rumpole and the Genuine Article, Rumpole's client, Harold Brittling, is accused of forging a painting that is credited to which other artist? Septimus Cragg. Yes. What is the name of the murder case from early in Rumpole's career, often mentioned by him, in which he gained an acquittal alone and without a leader at Lewis Assizes? Penge Bungalow's murder. Yes. In Rumpole and the Official Secret, a newspaper prints leaked details of Ministry of Defence entertainment expenses under the headline Biscuit War in the Ministry of Defence. Which newspaper? Um, is it the Fortress? It is indeed. It's the Sunday Fortress. You have one pass. Rumpole and the Younger Generation was the title of his first short story. I bet you knew that. Oh. Chloe, that one pass, you have 12 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please.
And your name is? I'm Alan Keyes. Your occupation? Retired school teacher. And your chosen subject? The track and field at the Olympics, 1896 to 1948. Two minutes on the first 14 modern Olympic Games starting now. By what name was the triple jump known when James B. Connolly won the Hop, first gold and... medal of the modern era in the event? Hop, step and jump. Correct. At the Berlin Games in 1936, two American Jewish athletes were controversially left out of the final of the 4 by 100 metres and replaced by Ralph Metcalf and which other athlete? Uh, Jesse Owens. Yeah. What was the nationality of Halina Konopatska, who became the first female Olympic gold medalist in a track and field event in 1928 when she won the discus? Uh, Polish. Yep. Who became the youngest male winner of an Olympic track and field event when he won the decathlon for the first time in 1948 as a 17-year-old? Bob Mathias. Yes. In what position did Harold Abrams finish in the 200 metres in 1924? He won gold in the 100 metres at the same games. Sixth. Yes. In 1906, in what field event did Francis Fernand Grande become the only non-American to win a gold medal until East Germany's Wolfgang Nordwig in 1972. Pole vault. Yes. Who set an Olympic record in the high jump in 1948 when she became the first black woman to win an Olympic gold medal? Alice Koshman. Yep. Which Caribbean country gained its first gold medal in 1948 when Arthur Wint won the 400 metres? Jamaica. Yep. In 1920, Sweden's William Pettersson became the only non-American winner of the long jump until 1964. What lucky charm did he have in one of his shoes? Um, a rabbit's tail? No, a silver coin. Who set a joint world record in the jump-off in the women's high jump in 1932 but was relegated to the silver medal position because she was deemed to have dived over the bar? Babe Mildred Dickinson. Yep. What was the name of the winner of the 1912 decathlon and pentathlon titles? Uh, Jim Thorpe. Yep. Who became the first British woman to win an individual track and field medal when she won the silver in the high jump in Berlin? Dorothy Odom Tyler. Yes. Additional discus, javelin and shot put events were included for the only time in the 1912 Games. What was unusual about them? Uh, Through with both hands. Yes. In 1928, Patrick O'Callaghan became the first athlete from an independent island to win an Olympic gold medal in what event? The Hammer. The Hammer. The Hammer throw is correct. No passes, Alan. You have 13 points. Yeah, <laughs> So now let us invite all our contenders back into the studio. And we move on to the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes becomes the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there will have to be a tie break. And remember, the contenders don't know at this stage what each other has scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score, so let me ask Devin. To join us again, please. Which is not to say it's a very low score, by the way, because you start out with 11 points. And you have two and a half minutes for your general knowledge. Here we go. What French term is used for informal social activities and entertainment after a day spent doing winter sports? Pass. In 1917, Viscount Lee of Ferrum presented the nation with a house and estate in Buckinghamshire to serve as a country home for the serving Prime Minister. What's it called? Pass. In what organ of the body are the hormones insulin and glucagon produced? Thyroid. The pancreas. What record-breaking play began its pre-West End tour in Nottingham in October 1952 before it moved to the Ambassador's Theatre later that year and to the St Martin's Theatre in 1974? Pass. Which gospel has the closing line? And lo, I am with you all the way, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Pass. What word for a noisy quarrel or a brawl comes from the Latin for to break or to shatter? Yes. What razor-toothed carnivorous fish with a reputation for ferocity are found in the lakes and rivers of South America, especially the Amazon? Piranha. Correct. Who wrote Hannibal Rising? It's the fourth book to feature the writer's villain and is a prequel to the other three books. Pass. In 1974, Bournemouth and neighbouring Christchurch were transferred from Hampshire to which county? Pass. 
In the 1942 film Casablanca, what song does Dooley Wilson play following Ilse Lund's often misquoted request to play it once, Sam, for old time's sake? You must remember this. As time goes by. Oh. Which Californian city and its metropolitan district is the second most populous in the United States after New York? Los Angeles. Yep. The so-called Wedding March is taken from a composer's incidental music written to accompany performances of A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Prussian Royal Court. Which composer? Pass. What is the name of the American television legal drama series in which Meghan Markle played Rachel Zane from 2011 to 2018? Suits. Yep. In Indian cuisine, a dish with the word palak in its name contains what vegetable? Pass. Which Irish boy band have had UK top ten single hits with I Love You Anyway and gave it all away since they reformed in 2007? Pass. What, according to Boswell's biography, did Dr. Johnson describe as the last refuge of a scoundrel? Prayer. Patriotism. In 2013, Nicolas Maduro became president of a South American country after the death of Hugo Chavez. Which country? Venezuela. He is correct. Uh, you had um, ten passes. <laughs> Let's rattle through them very quickly. The Irish boy band was Boy's Own. Palak means spinach. Mendelssohn composed the wedding march. Bournemouth and Christchurch were transferred from Hampshire to Dorset. Thomas Harris wrote Hannibal Rising. Fracker is the word for a noisy quarrel or brawl. The Gospel of St Matthew, Lo, I am with you always. The Mousetrap was the record-breaking play. The uh, country home for the serving prime minister is called Checkers. And that uh, French term used for after-ski activities, après-ski. Devon, you now have a total score of 15 points. <laughs> and now, Chloe again, please. And, Chloe, you begin this round with 12 points. 15, the score to beat as we speak. Here we go, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Siamese, Burmese and Cornish Rex are all breeds of what household pet? Cat. Yep. In what sport did Rona Martin lead the British women to a gold medal at the 2002 Winter Olympics? Um, slalom. Curling. Who gained a decisive victory over the British at the Battle of Majuba Hill in February 1881? It was the end of the first of two wars against them. Zulus. Boas, which poet is credited with writing the prayer of the Selkirk Grace in about 1790? It's traditionally spoken at the start of the meal that celebrates his birth. Pass. In 1796, Edward Jenner proved that inoculation with cowpox was an effective immunisation against a more serious disease. What disease? Smallpox. Yes. La Corbière and Grede d'Asset are lighthouses that lie on the coast of which of the Channel Islands? Jersey? Yep. In the Bible, who was the wife of Isaac and the mother of twin sons Jacob and Esau? Rebecca? Yep. What is the name of the American country singer who had his first UK top ten hit in 1963 with Welcome to My World? Bob Dylan? Jim Reeves. What Japanese word for great lord has come to mean a wealthy and powerful businessman? Um... Pass. Which 1971 film does James Bond come up against a female martial arts duo called Bambi and Thumper? Um... No? No. OK, pass. Which Commonwealth country's first national park, the Banff National Park, was founded in the 1880s? Canada. Yep. What name is given to a long glass vessel with a bulb at one end and a widening shaft that can hold two to three pints of beer? It's sometimes used in competitive drinking. A yard? Yes, a yard of ale. Which bird native to Africa can run as fast as 45 miles an hour? It can also deliver a dangerous kick if it's cornered. Ostrich? Yep. What is the name of the writer who illustrated Roald Dahl's books and who was appointed the first children's laureate in 1999? Quinton Blake? Yep. Michael Tippett's 1955 work, The Midsummer Marriage, is based on an opera by Mozart. Which one? Um... Magic flute? Yes. In which of the Arab Emirates is the skyscraper Burj Khalifa, which opened in 2010 and is 828 metres high? Abu Dhabi? Dubai. The celebrity version of a television competition has been won by the former rugby union players Matt Dawson in 2006 and Phil Vickery in 2011. What competition? Bake Off? Uh, no, but you're close. Masterchef. Okay. 
You had three passes, Chloe. Diamonds are forever was the James Bond film when he came up against Bambi and Thumper. Tycoon is the Japanese word for great lord. And the poet is credited with writing the prayer the Selkirk great Robbie Burns. However, Chloe, you now have 21 points. OK. Thank you. And now, Sanjoy again, please. And Sanjoy, you have 13 points to start with. 21 is now the score to beat. Here we go. Two and a half minutes, general knowledge. Maris Piper is one of the most popular varieties of what vegetable? Potato. Yep. In geometry, the term scalene refers to a plane figure with unequal sides. What figure? Triangle. Yep. Who set up South Africa's first black law practice with Oliver Tambo in 1952? Nelson Mandela. Yep. Near which royal residence is the village of Crathy and its parish church where members of the royal family worship when they're staying there? Balmoral. Yep. The Peron, a flask with a long spout from which wine can be poured directly into the mouth, was traditionally used in which country? Spain. Yep. The Fallen Woman is the English translation of the title of an opera by Verdi. Which one? La Traviata. Yes. What is the modern name of the city of Yathrib to which the Prophet Muhammad fled from Mecca in 622 AD? His tomb there is a site of pilgrimage. Jeddah. Al Medina. What is the present day name for the organization The Rosebuds? It was founded in 1914 by Baden Powell and his sister. It's for girls aged 7 to 10. The Brownies. Yeah. In 1818, Thomas Bowdler published a family version of a writer's plays with the perceived profanities and obscenities removed. Which writer? Pass. Which former athlete was born in a small town in Jamaica in August 1986 and has the middle name St. Leo? Usain Bolt. Yep. Entomology is the scientific study of which creatures? Pass. Whose first name was revealed to be Endeavour in Death is Now My Neighbour, the penultimate detective novel to feature him? Inspector Moss. Yes. In which 2017 film is the last gunslinger, played by Idris Elba, locked in an eternal battle with Walter O'Dim, also known as the Man in Black? Pass. Which then unified Asian country was annexed by Japan in August 1910 and ruled by governors general appointed by the Japanese emperor? Korea. Korea. Yes. On which 1994 number two hit single featured in the film The Three Musketeers did Brian Adams, Rod Stewart and Sting team up? Santa Barbara. All for love. Mark Leckie won the 2008 Turner Prize for work that included the video called Sacks of Fur about a cartoon cat who appeared in silent films. What's the cat called? Felix. Yep. Which politician spoke at the 2017 Glastonbury Festival where he urged Donald Trump to build bridges, not walls? Jeremy Corbyn. Yep. The Adirondacks and the Ozarks are mountain ranges in which country? United States. Yes. What medical service set up by an Australian Presbyterian minister, the Reverend John Flynn, began operating from Cloncurry, Queensland, in May 1928. Flying Doctor Service. Yes, in which television series first shown in 1978 does Wendy Craig play Rhea Parkinson, the overlooked wife of her dentist husband Ben and the mother of teenage sons Adam and Russell? Butterflies. Butterflies is correct. Three passes, Sanjoy. Idris Elba played in The Dark Tower. Insects, that's what entomology is, the study of, and Thomas Bowdler, I suppose you'd have to say now, Bowdlerized Shakespeare. Okay. You have, however, 28 points. <laughs> and finally, Alan, again, please. And, Alan, you start out sort of in the league because you had 13 points in the first round, but 28 <coughs> is now the score to beat. So... Let's see if you can do it. Two and a half minutes, general knowledge. Here we go. In a Charles Dickens novel, a character asked the master of the parish workhouse for more gruel. Which character? Oliver, Oliver Twist. Yep. In what sport are World Championship winners presented with the Sid Waddell trophy? Um, darts. Yep. Which major bus and lorry manufacturer took its name from the town south of Preston where it was established in 1896? Fairfax. Leyland. Which party won 13 Scottish seats in the 2017 general election, 12 more than they had previously held? Uh, conservative. Yep. What art prize did Lubaina Himid become the first black woman to win in December 2017? The work addressed Britain's colonial history and slavery. Turner Prize. Correct. What's the name of the Native American princess rescued from Captain Hook by Peter Pan? Uh, Pocahontas. Tiger Lily. Who received the gift of prophecy from the Greek god Apollo after he fell in love with her? When she rejected his advances, he ensured that no one would believe her prophecies. Cassandra. Yeah. Ophidiophobia is an abnormal fear of what creatures? 
um, fish. Snakes. What is the flavour of the colourless Curaçao liqueur triple sec? Orange. Yep. Sugarloaf Mountain and the giant statue of Christ the Redeemer on Mount Corcovado are landmarks in which city? Rio de Janeiro. Yep. What is the subtitle of the 2017 film, the second of the Kingsman series, in which the secret organisation's headquarters are destroyed and the world held hostage? Klingsman returned. The Golden Circle. According to the lyrics of a Cole Porter song, who regrets she's unable to lunch today? Um... Betty May. Miss Otis, who wrote the 1958 novel Saturday Night and Sunday Morning about the life and loves of Arthur Seaton, a hard-drinking Nottingham factory worker. Uh, Joe... Um, Alan Silito. What animal is depicted in Lancia's famous painting, The Monarch of the Glen? A stag. Yep. Yeah. The jazz musician Sidney Bechet originally recorded on the clarinet but became famous as a leading exponent of what member of the saxophone family? Saxophone. Which one? Um... Bass, saxophone. Soprano. Vaseline, Bayleaf and Charisma are among the nicknames of the fireman characters in which television series that ran from 1988 to 2002? Fireman Sam. London's Burning. The mathematical term algebra is derived from a word meaning resetting or reunification. From what language? Arabic. Yep. Which Scandinavian city gives its name to the syndrome whereby hostages bond with their captors? It was Stockholm. so named after a bank robbery that occurred there in 1973. Stockholm. Yep. Which country's name represents the letter I in the NATO phonetic alphabet? India. Yep. What was the name of the first king of Israel who reigned in the 11th century BC? He was the son of Kish, a wealthy member of the tribe of Benjamin. Saul. Yep. In which stage musical was Grisabella, originally played by Elaine Page when it first opened in May 1981? Um, cuts. Correct. But, Alan, not quite enough. You have 26 points, which means, of course, that tonight's winner is Sanjoy. So, let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 15 points, Devon. Third place, 21 points, Chloe. Second place, 26 points, Alan. First place, 28 points, Sanjoy. And he, of course, goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations <laughs> to you. And Alan, of course, nearly made it, but with a score of 26, it's entirely possible that we shall see him again in the semi-final. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>